Hello again, my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance personnel. Your host is always Haysam Ali and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Welcome to my aviation nuggets for today. Today I'm going to speak and give a short summary regarding the Airbus A320 air conditioning system, chapter 21 air conditioning system. At the beginning, I need to tell my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance people that this is not a formal training. It is just a performance support tool. I need you to easily digest the uh, air conditioning system and this is only for performance support. It is not a formal training, so always consult your formal manual regarding formal training. Okay. So, in this short minutes, I'm going to speak about chapter 21 and this is the basic schematic for chapter 21 or air conditioning system. How in the cabin, the flight crew or the passenger feel comfortable regarding a great and comfortable temperature of air, freshness of air, good fresh air and having a great or a good temperature within normal temperature. Okay. So I need to tell you that the air conditioning system in the Airbus A320 depend on two air conditioning bags, back one and the back two, back one and the back two, they are called air conditioning bags. And the box basically is an air cycle machine. And how chapter 21 or the air conditioning back got their air. They are got their air from the bleed air or chapter 36. Bleed air, chapter 36. Because one of the users for the bleed air is the air conditioning bags. Yes, from the bleed air, we understand that air coming from the high pressure compressor of the engine regulated in terms of pressure and temperature before supplying the user like the air conditioning bags. But this bleed air still high and hot, high pressure and hot having a uh, high pressure and hot temperature. Bleed air after the pre-cooler supply air like in 150 degrees centigrade or 200 degrees centigrade. But we need in the cabin and in the cockpit, cabin and the cockpit, we need like a temperature with a normal temperature, like 22 degree or 18 degree or 25 degree. So we need a basic temperature regulation. The bleed air must be again basically temperature regulated. We need this bleed air going from 200 degrees centigrade or 150 degrees centigrade into like 25 or 20 degrees centigrade. So who is responsible regarding this temperature regulation? The air conditioning bags. I'm sorry. The air conditioning bags. Bags are responsible for basic temperature regulation. Bags are responsible for basic temperature regulation. Okay, so how many zones inside the fuselage that these packs will supply? We have three zones cockpit, forward the cabin, and aft cabin. Again, cockpit, we need fresh air in the cockpit, forward the cabin, and into the aft cabin. Into the aft cabin. And the pilot do have three selector to select the temperature in the three zones. In the three zones, actually, back one will supply the cockpit, and the back two will supply the forward cabin and the aft cabin, and the aft cabin. So, again, if you ever been asked what is the function of the backs, the backs function is to do basic temperature regulation, and it takes the bleed air from hot high temperature, hot pressure and high temperature into basic temperature like in the range of 20s or under 20 degree. Okay. Again, I said that the back responsible for basic temperature regulation. Do we have other needed temperature regulation in the air conditioning system? Yes. This is what is called enhanced temperature regulation or optimized temperature regulation. Optimized temperature regulation. The optimized or enhanced temperature regulation will depend on this line. You see this line? Hot air coming from B 
uh, before the backs going to this temperature regulation point this hot air will do the enhanced or optimized temperature regulation and in after a while i will speak about enhanced or optimistic or optimized temperature regulation okay so as you can see the bleed air coming from the engine temperature regulation component and the pressure regulation component regulate the air in terms of pressure and temperature then this air will be flow control inside a flow control valve which it is the on off valve for the backs back one and the back two okay then the back will do basic temperature regulation the back will do basic temperature regulation so now the air going down you see this cyan line okay back do basic temperature regulation but actually the back will not deliver the air directly into the three zone actually the back supply their cold air now output cold air into what it called a mixer unit a mixer unit this mixer unit is located into in the aft cargo compartment uh, sorry in the forward cargo compartment aft part of the forward cargo compartment if you release the lining of the forward cargo compartment will have the mixer unit so what is the function of the mixer unit actually the mixer unit is a component that's used for fuel saving and money saving because thanks to the mixer unit we can mix some air from the cabin thanks to the recirculation fans we actually have two recirculation fans that will collect air from the cockpit and from the cabin okay and they mix this air with air coming from the back so actually for air conditioning system we are not only depend on the backs we are also depend on recycle some air from the cabin and from the cockpit thanks to the mixer unit and the mixer unit mix again the mixer unit mix air coming from the backs as you can see here this cyan line okay with air from the cockpit and the cabin thanks to the recirculation fans so what is the function of the mixer unit to mix air from the cabin with air from the backs and thanks to the mixer unit the mixer unit save money and save fuel because now we are not only depend on on only air coming from the back on air coming from the back so mixer unit will supply the three zone cockpit forward the cabin and aft cabin and before air going from the mixer unit into the three zone the enhanced or optimized temperature regulation phase will take part okay and we see now in the in this box temperature regulation we add some hot air this line red line red arrow of hot air coming before the backs added to the air from the mixer unit so actually what is the main component of the optimized or enhanced temperature regulation we have one hot air trim uh, 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 one hot air pressure regulating valve and the three trim air valve for the three zone to add hot air to air coming from the mixer unit because actually my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance people the pilot will select the temperature for three zones cockpit forward cabin aft cabin okay for example if the pilot selected 20 degree for the cockpit 22 degree for the forward cabin and the 24 degree for the aft cabin so actually the back will do their basic temperature regulation regarding the less temperature selected which is the cockpit of 20 degree but the pilot need 22 degree into the forward cabin and the 24 degree into the aft cabin so thanks to the hot air system or hot trim air pressure regulating valve main valve and the three trim air valve for three zone we add some hot air into the air from the mixer unit to increase the temperature in the forward zone from 20 degree as the back do into 22 degree and to increase the temperature into the aft cabin from 20 degree as the back do basic temperature regulation into 24 degree as the pilot needed as the pilot needed okay my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance people
so I believe now you understand what is meant by enhanced temperature regulation or optimized temperature regulation that we add hot air into the air coming from the mixer unit thanks to the back and thanks to the hot air system we now have can uh, can vary the temperature into the three zone again the back will operate at the basic temperature regulation and will supply their temperature regarding to the lowest selection by the pilot and if any other zone need more high temperature so the hot air system will add hot air into the air coming from the mixer unit to increase the temperature in some other individual zone to have more higher temperature than air coming from the bags and from the mixer unit so now air can go to the cockpit first zone into the forward cabin as you can see here forward the cabin and into the aft the cabin into the aft the cabin so we have three zone cockpit forward the cabin and aft the cabin and the pilot can select the temperature individually in each zone and thanks to the hot air system we have uh, we can add hot air to the air coming from the mixer unit to increase the temperature in some other zone okay my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance people air is distributed now into the cockpit forward the cabin and aft cabin so how the pressurization system control we need to control cabin altitude into safe limit and you know in the airbus a320 cabin altitude safe limit is almost 8000 feet so how we can control the pressurization into the fuselage we control the exit of this air supplied by the bags okay by one outflow valve by one outflow valve this valve on ground is almost fully open and while the aircraft climb this valve reach some almost fully closed position and controls amount of escape of the air conditioning air from the fuselage so as this outflow valve is closed we have the air from the air conditioning system inside the cabin and we have a good cabin altitude so we have a good pressurization system yes the aircraft can climb from ground into 35,000 feet or may maybe 30,000 feet but the cabin only can climb from ground to 8,000 feet so we have a rate of climb of the aircraft and other rate of climb of the cabin and who control the rate of climb of the cabin and control the cabin altitude the pressurization system thanks to one outflow valve which is a gate valve okay and will close to control the amount of air escaping from the fuselage into the outside outside altitude is very high like 30,000 feet but inside altitude must be controlled at cruise like at 8,000 feet so we have very high pressure inside and very low pressure outside and we control the rate of escape of the air from the one outflow valve this outflow valve is a very important valve and it can be controlled or it may be controlled automatically or manually the basic control is automatic control thanks to two automatic controller cabin pressure controller cbc1 or cbc2 that compose system one and system two they are both automatic systems and these valve have two motors two automatic motors controlled by two cabin pressure controller and one other manual motor that may be controlled from the pressurization panel if both automatic system fail in case of in case of both automatic system fail so actually the outflow valve is a very important one so it do have three motors for redundancy two motors are automatic motors and the third motor is a manual motor two motor will be controlled by cabin pressure controller two cbc or two cabin pressure controller combos system one or system two they are both automatic system and the third system is a manual system 
the pilot in case of both automatic system fail they can control the outflow valve manually from the pressurization panel from the pressurization panel so if you ask yourself what is the noble function of the bleed system and the air conditioning system it is yes the pressurization system because pressurization is the vital system for allowing the uh, soles on the aircraft to, to be protected and they have the good rate of oxygen or good pressure of oxygen inside the cockpit inside the cockpit okay my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance people so we always study chapter 36 then chapter 21 bleeder system chapter 36 then chapter 21 air conditioning system and from the air conditioning system we control the pressurization system pressurization system okay everybody as a summary we have air coming from the engine regulated in pressure and temperature thanks to the bleed system then this hot still hot and high air temperature and pressure regulated again in terms of temperature in the backs back one and the back two responsible for basic temperature regulation and then the hot air system for optimized temperature regulation the pilot need to vary temperature into the three zone cockpit forward cabin and aft cabin so thanks to the hot air system to increase the temperature as the backs operate as the lowest or at the basic temperature needed basic temperature needed from the pilot selectors on the overhead panel on the overhead panel the mixer units are there or is there to save money and save fuel the mixer unit mix air coming from the backs with air from the cabin thanks to uh, the two recirculation fans two recirculation fans these fans are always operate automatically whenever the aircraft operate and the selector for operation of this recirculation fan is located on the ventilation panel on the ventilation panel how many zone for air conditioning system three zone cockpit forward cabin and aft cabin how many outflow valve in the airbus a320 one outflow valve that may be controlled by three systems two automatic and one manual two automatic and one manual thank you always for your good listening thank you always for your good listening and always fly safely and maintain your aircraft very safely your host is always Haysam Ali and I'm an aviation technical instructor always depend on my session for performance support it is not a formal training please don't use for flight or maintenance my session only uh, uh, may be used for performance support it is not a formal training so don't use for flight or for maintenance and always consult your formal manual like flight crew training manual flight crew operating manual and aircraft maintenance manual stay tuned for an upcoming sessions like this and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel aviation nuggets aviation nuggets by Haysam Ali to increase your performance and to increase your awareness regarding aircraft system specifically the airbus a320 thanks and i will meet you again very soon bye bye